Hello, George Romanich here. Today we are going to find the expression for the Coriolis parameter of a spinning disk, idealized two-dimensional disk. We already found Coriolis parameter for the planet Earth in previous videos and uh, I solved numerous problems related to this concept. However, today we are going to look into a disk and we will see that this will be very handy when we start doing experiments related to the Coriolis force using rotating table. The text of the problem is now on your screens. So what we have here is a disk like this let's say and this disk is rotating. There is the axis of rotation and I will call that axis Z and the disk is rotating with some angular velocity omega with the axis of rotation being Z. What is, so if we have a particle over here that is moving, well it will be affected by the Coriolis force just as any particle that is moving on the part on the in our atmosphere or uh, the surface of the earth or oceans instead of spherical uh, instead of spherical symmetry of our earth here we have two dimensional disk well to find coriolis parameter first of all coriolis parameter for our planet you will remember was 2 omega sine phi where omega is angular velocity of the earth, let's say omega e, and phi is latitude. So this is Coriolis parameter for earth. But what is Coriolis parameter for this disk? That's the question. Where to find this, we just follow basically the same principle that we did in the case of planet Earth. We know from previous videos that Coriolis force is equal minus 2m, where m is mass of the particle on which Coriolis force uh, is, uh, which Coriolis force is affecting, omega cross v, where omega is angular velocity of the system, in this case this disk, and v is velocity in respect to disk. Uh, of course you have to know if velocity is zero, there is no Coriolis force. So now, without loss of generality, let's assume that this is unit mass, which means that our Coriolis force will be therefore simply minus 2 omega cross v. <clears throat> now, what are the opponent components of velocity v? Because this is two-dimensional disk. If I say that this is my x-axis, y-axis is like this. Uh, y-axis is into the page and z-axis is up although here it looks like y and z are the same. z is up, y is into the uh, blackboard and uh, yeah, and uh, x is to the right. Then this particle on the disk has to stay on the disk, which means it can have u component, which is positive in the x direction, v component, which is positive in the uh, y direction, but there is no vertical component of velocity. It's two-dimensional motion on the surface of the disk. What are the components of omega? Well, omega, we assume here that the disk is rotating uh, around an axis that is perpendicular to the surface of this disk. So omega is zero, zero, and this omega, which is intensity of this vector. Well, now we plug in these vectors in this expression, 
and we get that this is equal minus 2 and I will use determinant to solve this cross product. So the first uh, row are the unit vectors i, j, k. The second row are e, the first component, uh, the components of the first vector, which is 0, 0, omega. And the third row is the second vector, which is velocity with components u, v, and 0. <coughs> Or, this is equal, let's continue here, so this is minus 2 that multiplies in the i direction, so I cross this column and this row, I will have 0 minus omega times v minus in the j direction, I cross this column, I cross this row, I will have 0 minus omega u and plus in the k direction which is vertical direction so I cross this row I cross this column I will have 0 minus 0 which is 0 and that makes sense that we will not end up with any force in the vertical direction because everything all motion is constrained in the plane of this disk. So this is zero, which means that F Coriolis is equal. This minus and this minus will give me plus. So 2 omega V in the I direction. These two minuses will give me plus, but this minus keeps everything negative, minus 2 omega u, and there is no k in the j direction. So this is expression for the Coriolis force on a 2D disk that is rotating with the axis perpendicular to the plane of the disk. And you can see that these factors next to the velocity components are what we call Coriolis parameter. So from here we see that Coriolis parameter for the disk is equal to 2 times omega. And you will remember that we already derived this expression in, uh, I think, in my video on uh, traditional approximation and planetary vorticity. But at any rate, you can see now the relationship between the Coriolis parameter for the disk and Coriolis parameter for spherical Earth. They are very similar. Of course, here is omega of the disk. They are very similar, but spherical Earth also has sine phi, namely dependency on the latitude. So, two times angular velocity of the disk. Now, kindly notice something interesting. F of the earth, I will rewrite it, is 2 omega of the earth sine phi. But let's take north pole. North pole sine phi is equal 1 because phi is 90 degrees. So, at the North Pole, Coriolis parameter for the Earth is 2 omega of the Earth. And Coriolis parameter for the disk is 2 omega of the disk. Do you see similarity? But that's expected, because if you take planet Earth, it looks like this. This over here is North Pole. This is angular velocity omega. Earth is rotating in the counterclockwise direction, so this part goes into the blackboard, this part comes out. So rotation is like so. And notice that in this region around North Pole, 
this indeed looks like our disk. This looks like disk, uh, and therefore the Coriolis parameter over here around the North Pole is the same as the Coriolis parameter for idealized disk. For the South Pole, of course, it's the same, but with the negative sign. Negative sign because for South Pole, phi is minus 90 degrees, and then uh, sine of minus 90 degrees is uh, minus 1, and therefore you get the same result, but as if the axis of rotation of this disk was in opposite direction, logically. So there is this interesting interplay between idealized disk and idealized surrounding of our planet uh, around North and South Poles. Until next video, goodbye.